Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a demo of the maps in iOS 6, a turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and yes, I'm filming in an unusual place, different from my little studio, and I'm going to be showing you guys just what I like about iOS 6 maps, what I don't like, and overall just how it works. Now, right now I'm at Jensen Beach, and I'm just going to end this navigation right here, and let's go to Voodoo Donuts in uh, downtown Portland. There you go. And it found it easily enough. All right, just gonna select directions to here. Route, and then we can click start. Starting route to Voodoo Donuts. And it's as simple as that, guys. North Avenue. So I'm gonna put it on its mount, and hopefully it won't be too bumpy. You guys can see what's going on. And because it is still a beta, you'll notice some glitches found in this version of maps as you can see there's these bars right here it'll go away in a little bit once we start driving but it is quite annoying to have to have these little glitches here and there but of course in the final version you won't be seeing that so all right let's go now one of the first thing you guys will notice is how clean everything looks everything looks very neat now of course this is apple based maps no longer google's but compared to android i actually still prefer android the layout is a little bit better but overall it's very simple it's straight to the point so you know exactly what you're looking at and where you're going and overall the battery life is amazing I mean compared to Android's Android will drain your battery life in uh, probably two hours this one is actually going strong for already two and a half hours and the battery life with this application is amazing so all right let's get going now I apologize in advance for the screen quality I mean it is hard to see when the Sun is shining down on the iPhone and it's a reflective screen so sorry about that but right off the bat, I want to say this app is going to be updated every single day since the creator is TomTom. Tom. Basically, you won't need any updates. It'll be updating on its own every single day. The volume of this app is actually really great. You can hear it from a noisy cabin. I mean, I drive an Audi. It's really not that loud to begin with. But some roads aren't the quietest. And you can hear it actually very good. So quality-wise, for the audio, it's very good. So now I'm going to deliberately miss an exit and see how long it takes to recalculate. Uh, from my experience, it's actually very fast. And the one thing that I don't like about this uh, application is that it doesn't have a speedometer. Sometimes I like to look at the GPS and just see what the speed limit is. Take right exit 300B towards US 26 East and OR 9090. And there you go, it did recalculate. It took a while, but here I am back on the track to get some donuts. So uh, here we go. Now, if you guys want to know the estimated time of arrival or how far away you are or in how many minutes you'll get there, just tap the screen and this little menu will pop up and it'll say everything right there. Simple as that. Man, this is harder than I thought filming while driving. I'm gonna get in a fender bender, so uh, let's hope I get there safe. Really like the countdown feature. It'll let you know how many feet there are till you have to take your exit. As you can see right there, 500, 400. Very useful feature. So here we are getting close. I can already smell them. And we've pretty much made it to this spot. So overall guys, like I said, I really like it. Very smooth. I would recommend getting it. And this is an iPhone 4 by the way, so of course you guys will be able to install it on older devices. I will have tutorial up on that soon, so stay tuned guys. Anyways, of course, like and favor this video, subscribe for more, Arrived at Voodoo and I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace. And very quickly, I wanted to show you guys the flyover maps feature found in iOS 6. Basically, you can see your city in 3D. And let me just show you, give you a depth of this. You can also uh, slide two fingers up. And you can see all the skyscrapers here. This is in Chicago, Illinois. Now, this hasn't been updated for all cities yet, but it just looks amazing. If you have time to play around with it, it's like a little model at your disposal and it looks very cool so that's just a very neat feature found in ios 6 flyover 3d maps